Today we're going to talk about Wix automations. Wix automations are awesome. They're going to save you a ton of time. So basically Wix automations automate simple tasks that you would otherwise do repetitively um, in the course of managing your website. So we can find the Wix automations in the Wix dashboard under CRM tools and then automations. And let me just show you a few examples of automations that Wix suggests just by default. Um, so they're all app based. All your Wix automations will, will run off the apps that you have. And when I say apps, I mean things like your Wix store, your Wix blog, your Wix forum, that kind of thing. And so right off the bat, Wix is suggesting a lot of very helpful automations for us. Things like recovering our abandoned carts. So when somebody has uh, a few products in their cart and they, they leave the site, we can email them and, and see if we can get them to finish the checkout process. We could do things like send a thank you email when somebody submits a form. You could automatically follow up with somebody after a week and check in and see how they're doing. Maybe if you're selling a course, you could send an email a week later that says, hey, how's the course going? Can I help you with anything? These other automations are things that I use myself with my invoicing software. It's things like if somebody's overdue on an invoice, you'll automatically email them to follow up with them. That'll save you a ton of time chasing down invoices, which is really an unpleasant part of client work. You can set it up to automatically remind yourself or your clients to follow up on an invoice or a quote. You can set tasks. Hopefully you can see how much time and effort you can save and how much boring work you can eliminate by setting up Wix automations. So let's check out a couple of these um, that are already made for us. The most useful one that I see right off the bat is this one, email visitors to recover abandoned carts. So let's click the blue use this automation button. You'll come to the screen, which is basically an if then automation builder. And so when I say if then, what I mean is there'll be a trigger. So if somebody um, abandons a cart, then do this, send email to contacts. And these can get much longer than, um, than what they are now. You could create an entire email sequence where maybe you send them four emails and if they respond, you do this, and if they don't respond, you do that. So you can make very complicated automations. But let's focus on the basic, simple automations right now. So, like I said, if it's, it's an if-then statement, and so we have a trigger, an action, and timing. So this is a basic automation. So for this one, to recover abandoned carts, our trigger is um, when somebody abandons a cart. So if you open up this box by clicking this little blue arrow, you can see that it says to create an automated response first choose an app. And that's what I was talking about earlier when I said that these are app-based. So we would select the Wix app, and then we could select the trigger for this app. Customer makes a purchase, or customer abandons the cart. Now, what if we want to do something based on the Wix forms? Then there, there are different triggers available, like whenever a visitor submits a form. Now, maybe you can see that if you had a lot of different forms that were for different purposes, you could send people different items. So maybe that sounded really confusing, right? So what I mean is, maybe if you had a page on your website that said, sign up for our newsletter and get a free Thailand travel guide. You could send them, automatically send them a that travel guide. And they have another one, maybe you have another form that says sign up for our newsletter and get a free Japan travel guide. And you could automatically send them that travel guide. And then after that point, you could send them a series of emails relevant to their interests. So a series of emails about Thailand or about Japan. And you can do all of this within the Wix automation tool here. Okay, so let's go back and finish creating our email sequence for uh, abandoned carts. So when a customer abandons a cart, then we have an option to do this. So we could send an email to contacts, which is what we're planning on doing. We're going to send them an email and say, hey, you forgot something in your cart. We could get notified by email, so they notify us. We could create a task to maybe follow up with them. We could connect to webhooks or to Zapier, which would be to, um, essentially to create an uh, automation that uses other software outside of Wix. Um, we could move a card in a workflow, which is on our task management board. We could add labels, assign badges, add data to Google Sheets. So we're going to send the email to contacts. And then if we keep going, we can see that we can customize sender details. So this is your information. So I would want it to be something like nomadic Caleb, Caleb at nomadiccaleb.com. Okay, and then we can create the email that we would be sending to them. 
Now, in another video, I'll show you how to design and create email newsletters. But for now, let's just preview and test this. So this is what our email is going to look like when it sends to our automated. This is what our email is going to look like when it sends to people who have abandoned their cart. It'll say, we notice you left something in your cart. An image will be there of the product with the product name and price. And when they click resume your order, it'll take them right back to checkout. So hopefully you can see how helpful this can be. And statistics show that this will help you increase your sales by 20 to 30%. Okay, let's go back to setup. And we're just going to leave this in as is. Okay, let's set a timer. I think two hours after the purchase is pretty quick. Maybe let's switch it to two days. I think two hours they might still be shopping and they've just gone somewhere else. They just went out for lunch or something. So I think two days makes a little more sense. And then we could add follow-up actions. So we could make our automations longer if we had a, a premium send marketing plan. We don't right now. Um, and for the purposes of this video, I don't think we need to make multi-step automations. Um, but you could by clicking the add follow-up action. Okay, so let's go ahead and activate this automation. That's it. So now our automation is active. You can see that with the free ASIN plan, we can get we have up to two free automations. And you'll see how often, how many times this automation has been triggered right here. So let's go back to our automations. And let's also create this automation. Send thank you email to visitors at submit a form. And these pre-made Wix automations are super easy to use. You can see they've already got the triggers and actions that we need and the scheduled, scheduling ready to go. So all we need to do is click activate. And here's what that email is going to look like. Thanks for getting in touch. So let's activate that one. And now our website is working for us all the time in another way. Not only is it potentially selling products or services for us even while we sleep, but now it's also emailing visitors abandoned card emails and thank you emails. We don't have to click anything. We don't have to contact anybody. Our website and our automations do the work for us. So Wix automations are awesome. They're going to save you a ton of time. They're going to make your life easier. And they're going to make your clients very happy because they're going to get service quickly. Nobody will fall through the cracks. You won't miss anybody. And their needs are going to be met. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.